Hello Leo, it's my lady from my Ladies Wait here. Now I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on for the Leo? Leo, Leo. Leo love reading October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. So it seems like somebody may be trying to bring you out of a, a dark place, like a negative place or a negative situation, or um, you're trying to bring somebody else out of a negative situation, okay? All right, so... I don't know. This is just making me seem like you can't figure out why this person just keep getting into crazy situations, okay? Ooh. Okay, so it seems like um, this may be a new relationship. So, um, I'm feeling like you may have started a new relationship or um, somebody you know started a new relationship and it's like, it's taking you to a negative place and it seems like somebody is trying to help you get out of it. All right, so... Okay, so this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, yes, yeah, somebody is trying to bring you out of a negative place. But it seems like you may have not found enough to make you want to leave this situation. And maybe a new situation, you could be pregnant by this person or you could have impregnated this person. But it's like, um, it's basically saying that I mean, just you being honest about the situation, you didn't fit, find enough to make you want to leave. But I feel like people are trying to make you leave this situation, okay? Or it, this could be somebody close to you as well. Okay, so... So it's basically saying... Keep going. I've got to clarify this. Keep going. What is this keep going by... For the Leo, what does this keep going for the Leo? Yikes. Okay, so it seems like this may be a work situation. It may be some like shady stuff going on at work. Yeah, I mean you could be dealing with a boss since this is a love reading. Um or you are a boss dealing with somebody else, and then it seems like people are telling you to get rid of this situation, but it's like you're not ready to because you haven't, I guess, touched the fire enough, okay? Okay, so it seems like um, you. this makes me feel like you may be the worker and it seems like the boss is possibly trying to let you go or thinking about letting you go. You know, they're they thinking about letting you go, okay? Okay, yeah, there's no love in this situation. There's no love here. But it's like people are trying to tell you, and I feel like they're trying to tell the person you're dealing with, like, hey, you might want, not want to do this, but you guys are still doing it. Okay? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it is basically saying you might want to stop because there might be some pregnancies going on. I don't know if it's a third-party situation, but I know it's like... um. You're not supposed to be doing this at the place of employment. All right. So what's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo. Love reading October 16th through the 22nd. Leo, love reading October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. 
All right, what's going on? What's going on? Oop, yep, somebody's trying to trap somebody with a baby, so watch out now. Man or, male or female, somebody's trying to trap the Aries. I mean, but it's general. The Aries could be trying to trap somebody also. <laughs> yep. Burp. Party situation going on at work. All right. So it seems like some kind of loss is definitely indicated. So it seems like just me looking at this, somebody end up about to lose their relationship and their job or they're about to lose their job and they about to get this um, information in the mail. But let's go. We're going to do the three coins first. It may take some time to get what you want. There will be much need for work and a skill to succeed. Sorry, my dogs are getting ready to get put in a cage. All right, so basically it's a whole lot to do to make this relationship work, but, ooh, or keep your job, because I feel like, I feel like somebody's job is in jeopardy because of this relationship. All right, so now we got the five of cups. It says, a loss of some kind is indicated. The realization that something which is believed in was true or real is not tendencies of drug and alcohol use. So that's this love card. Somebody felt like the other person loved them, but in reality, it wasn't true. It's basically the thrill of the kill I'm feeling. All right, so we got the six of staffs reversed. It's so hard for me not to get up and put these dogs up right now. They've been fighting the whole time. All right, so we got the six of staff reverse. It says paranoia, nervousness, concerns of betrayal, a false pride could be an obstacle. This makes me feel like, you know, you got them people on the, on the side telling you what you should do. They telling you to stop, but I feel like they're also telling other people what you're doing. So you need to watch what you're telling the people, okay? All right, so now we got the eight of staffs, and it's reversed. It says envy, internal struggle, and guilty conscience. So, yeah, it's like you know you're doing something wrong. Everybody know you're doing something wrong, and then you look guilty, and then, I mean, you feel like everybody know, and it's basically like what what is the, um, is it really worth it, okay? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal read, check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.